Plantex Vodcast, episode 24, recap. I refer to him as the godfather of plant-based living and eating. He's uh, opened up dozens of restaurants all around the world, and uh, we're just so thankful to have him join us. If you do like the show, make sure to subscribe and recommend it to others so that they could learn all about what Plantex is Matthew, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sean. Pleasure to be here. Today it was some organic extra virgin coconut milk, but I'll take it however I can get it most days because I've, I've been working a lot. So that one coffee in the morning is absolute necessity. I had been leaning more and more toward a healthy lifestyle. I had these competing passions. One was health and wellness, but I also love great food and wine and restaurants and the whole hospitality industry. Classically, the hospitality industry is a bit in conflict with what happens in health and wellness because the first thing I learned in French culinary school, more salt, more butter, more cream, uh, more flavor. And the last one's really important. It is critical to have great flavor and great presentation, but the rest of it, it really wasn't promoting wellness. And I really came to the realization over many years that to fully enjoy food. And when I say fully, I mean, not just enjoy the taste, but enjoy it when you wake up the next day, enjoy it three days later, because you're, you know, not only having great flavors, but also in nutrition. I guess it was a light bulb moment about 20 years ago, where I finally came to the realization that if somebody could bring plant-based to the top of the food chain, it really could redefine our relationship with food. It's so important, the merchandising side of things and curating the selection. And a lot of people make announcements with famous people or celebrities and it's fluff, right? They go ahead, they announce it and it's just for PR purposes. And what I love so much about our relationship, I can't even count the amount of hours that your team's been on with ours and working on building something so amazing. When the opportunity came to open a convenience store three or four years ago, I was really excited because I'm so into products and specifically sourcing new products before they're really well known and things that are you know unprocessed and innovative and interesting and it's not just the food or the taste but it's like the packaging it's the whole thing you know that the curation of products is an art in and of itself and it took us a long time with New Delhi I mean we opened and I thought I knew that this business like I think I know everyone and and then Two years later, I'm like, okay, now I finally get it. You know, we have a team, we know how to source the right mix of products that are curated, the right mix of essentials, and it was really flowing. And that was around the time I met you. But before I met you, I was reading about Plant X opening in San Diego, and I'm like, who are these, who are these guys? You know, they're doing what we're they're doing what we're doing. So I, I never really had the uh, connection to connect with you until our friend actually connected us and it was just the, one of the most natural fits that in business that's happened. I felt like we went through a lot of the trials and tribulations that can add a lot of value to uh, to your platform because you're gonna grow a lot faster than we were intending to grow with that particular model. So it was just great synergy and it's been like that with everything we've done together. You know, we're focused on doing what we do with everything that we're involved in, which is taking uh, a chef's approach or culinary approach to an industry that typically doesn't have that level of culinary expertise. We're really very respectful of the logistics and the packaging challenges and the shipping challenges and so forth. But at the same time, we really want to bring something new with, you know, handcrafted cuisine and innovative recipes and I call it mise en place for anybody who's worked in a kitchen. It's all about, you know, how organized you are. And I want to take the same approach with our meal plan, having things that are very easy to put together and at the same time with a tremendous amount of thought behind it. So we're trying to put more work on us, less on the consumer. We know e at the end of the day. That's our strength. We're a technology company at the end of the day. We want to connect with consumers, but you're the expert in preparing all this uh, greatness and uh, listen, food at the end of the day makes people extremely happy. We're probably launching from the most impressive meal plan kitchen facility that exists um, globally. So I'm really excited for when we can share that. That's coming from someone who's got decades of experience in kitchens. So when I see your team writing how amazing the space is, it gets me really excited. And uh, I can't wait to share that with our, our investors and shareholders. Most of our restaurants were required to go into a delivery model for several months. 
And because of that, we've developed relationships with sustainable packaging suppliers throughout the country. So we're, we're betting, you know, half a dozen different options right now, but it will definitely be as sustainable as possible and, and thoughtful throughout the entire process. We've raised $35 million. We have well over 25 million cash still in the bank, no debt, already on pace to do $20 million run rate, uh, currently growing every single day. And again, partnerships like this just keep bringing Plantex to the next level. Till next week, stay curious, stay planted, stay healthy.